Hi guys, this is Thunder E from Border Work, and we're taking a look at the ThinkPad 8 tablet. Sorry, our review is a little bit late, but here it is. So this is a Windows 8.1 tablet. It comes, you can also get it with that flip cover screen. But let's take a look at some of the things of the device itself, just around as we detach that off here. So on the left hand side, you do have a mini display port, um, uh, as well as a SD card slot to actually expand the memory. And um, as we bank around, you can see it's got a very thin edge, your 3.5 mm jack at the bottom. And on the right, you have a USB 3.0 for charging and data transfer, as well as um, volume rock and power button. On the rear, you have that 8 megapixel camera, ThinkPad logo. It's got a LED flash on the front. It's a two megapixel front facing camera. Below here, we do have two rear speakers and that is the display. It's an 1800 by 1200 display. It's actually quite vibrant. And uh, you can see it's got a full layout keyboard. Typing is one of the things that most people will be concerned about. It's quite easy with that as I try to put my password here and watch me fail. Um, <laughs> so it's, it's very easy actually, especially in portrait mode to actually use this uh, tablet uh, to type. It's eight inches uh, and it feels comfortable and easy to use and maneuver. So comes with, uh, of course, like I said, once the Windows 8.1, you can do the update to 8.1, update one, and you can see it's easy to just navigate through the Metro side and also pin things to start menu and things like that. Uh, one of the things I, I, I do like about this is viewing content and watching like movies on the go, which is something you guys can check out uh, in a second. But I do like the way it functions and its form altogether. Uh, uh, the other thing also is just taking a look at some of the applications that you find on here. It comes with um, Office um, Office Student, so that's packaged in there. There's some Lenovo um, uh, software also included. Nothing much in terms of bloatware, so it doesn't really slow down your system. Now, specs-wise, you've got an Intel um, Atom processor uh, with two gigabytes of RAM. And um, I just open up a word processor here, and you can see it's 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 quite easy to edit documents and type, and and the keyboard works very well. The layout is good. I prefer using portrait mode when I'm dealing with documents. It's just much an, it's much an easier process than in landscape. It still works in landscape, but portrait just seems much better. Uh, like I said, you know, it's got a it's an Atom processor, it's a quad core processor, it functions well, handles a lot of tasks well, except of course editing video, which is just not meant for that. Now um, that flip cover case is great it fits very well with it I don't have the price but we'll list it for you here the other thing too is that it's got that quick access camera which is at the back where you flip that down that's your access your camera and actually fire up your camera for you so what I'm going to do is of course flip it down the camera you get access of course then you just have to kind of hit the unlock button and you can take some photos and pictures so what we'll do is we'll add some video content from here so you take a look at that and see how well uh, the video content from this actually sounds um, overall it's a it's a decent camera. Like I said, it's eight megapixels, so you get some decent photos. It's not something you're supposed to be using for that. In my mind, view, just because tablets are not really meant for that, but check out some video content from there. Since this is a tablet, I'm not expecting too much. Uh, it's uh, late evening now, so that's why it looks a little darker. Um, so you do, it's about roughly 7 p.m. in the northeast, but just giving you a an idea of what this camera does in terms of audio and sound. Now, of course, you're not going to use a, a tablet to record audio or video most of the time, but in case you need to, just to give you an idea of what the ThinkPad 8 uh, tablet does. Uh, and we do about 30 seconds. We added a few photos here for you. Uh, it's windy, so just to hear the noise variance with that. So uh, that is pretty much it, guys. It's boring. I know there's not much. Uh, of course, don't expect any kind of stabilization off the tablet anyway. But this is a Windows 8 tablet, and uh, let's uh, continue the review. Another cool thing about this device is that it supports USB on the go or USB OTG. So basically, you can plug in things like your Kingston Micro Duo, your Corsair. Uh, Voyager on the go, transfer files easily, and uh, move from device to device, or from your tablet to your PC, or even to your Android smartphone. So that's very nice. Uh, it's it's good to see that that feature is actually uh, available here, and, and I'm glad that you know. Again, it's a Windows device, so you could expect you could do, easily do stuff like that. So you can see me easily transfer files um, over from uh, the ThinkPad A tablet all the way into uh, the USB on the go. 
one of the areas this tablet excels in is actually viewing video content. So let's fire up Hulu and check out how well that uh, 1800 by 1200 display works and also the speakers behind. So the display quality of the tablet is great. The speakers, nah, not so much because they're behind, but overall, I do like what they've done here with the ThinkPad Tablet 8. Retailing at uh, around 446, it's an affordable Windows tablet, one I can definitely suggest to the business user and anyone who's interested in buying a tablet all around. And I think this is something a lot of people would appreciate and use. So um, if you have any questions or any comments about the ThinkPad Tablet 8, uh, let us know, or ThinkPad 8 actually if you will let me know um do like this video share this video and favorite this video and also uh don't forget to subscribe to the channel check out our giveaways we have a couple of giveaways for intel nux as well as a razor uh black widow uh ultimate keyboard so this is thunder e saying thank you and always enjoy your entertainment